portalmixradio.com étant le premier réseau sportif haïtien dans First Session Sports Network, totalmixradio.com, sauf les connaissances de Haïti, des Haïtiens, qui j'en footballeurs, qui j'en les athlètes haïtiens d'un peu partout à travers le monde là, a fonctionné au jour le jour. Monsieur Certain, si c'est ça ou intéressé, ou vous voulez connaître comment athlètes haïtiens vivent, euh, ou choisi Total Mix. Monsieur est certain qu'on doit choisir Total Mix, mais dans le cas contraire, et là, il va blasser parce que si c'est ou pas, vous voulez connaître ça qui passe de Haïti et Haïtien, et là, c'est pas blasser. Là, 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 c'est pas côté vous êtes. Alors, c'est sûr que parlons des athlètes haïtiens, parlons des activités des athlètes haïtiens en Haïti ou à l'extérieur, c'est ça qui permet que nous, avec nous, en soyons matin, après-midi, hein. ça dépend de l'heure où nous qui occasion qui va garder notre eh, invité à soya c'est un habitué c'est pas un, pour la première fois qu'il a parlé avec lui mais de préférence c'est juste pour qu'on connaît qui vient la fonctionner comment ça y est so let me bring my boy ou encore that's a big guy a strong defender so this guy it's it's uh, how, how we can call him it's a strong, strong, strong defender. Boom! Jean Fritz, boom! How are you, boom? Hey, thanks for having me, man. I'm good. Thank you. How about you? <laughs> I'm very good. You can see that on my face, man. I'm, I'm yeah, well. Good. good. Yeah, good. You're looking good, man. Happy as always. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Uh, boom! Jean Fritz, boom! Let's me... That that the last time the last time we was talking that was like uh, less than a year ago, no? Yeah, man, a little bit less was uh, maybe uh, February this year, February yeah. March around yeah, this time. Yeah. Probably around this time. So, yeah, how's everything with you right now? How's everything? Everything goes well, man. Um, we changed in the was a crazy year. A lot of things happened. Uh, a lot of good things also. Um, I changed club uh, from the last time we talked. I was playing in uh, Den Haag, and now I moved to a different club, more south. Uh, I'm happy to be there. Uh, getting a lot of opportunities from the yeah, from the coaches. Um, also, this year was uh, also a good year. Um, I went with the national team on the 23 to Mexico. Mm-hmm. Unfortunately, it, yeah. is, it didn't. It didn't happen. It, let, let me ask yeah. you this first. So what was the reason you changed the club? For a better opportunity? Or what was the reason? Um, I think my reason that mostly because uh, I need a new, uh, yeah, new challenge. Because uh, I was there at my old club for maybe eight years. And then uh, I've seen it. I've seen it That's already. It, in the it, club. You spent eight years on the old, on the previous team, right? Yeah, I'm eight years in the youth, mm-hmm. and uh, one year in the in the yeah in the second team. And then I was like, yeah, what do I want? Do I want to mm-hmm. stay here or do I want a new challenge to <laughs> make myself a better player uh, to develop my game? So at the end of the at the end of the transfer window, I was like. Let me see what can happen if I change club and mm-hmm. it went very well. Uh, my new club, I was uh, when I came for the first time in there. There were good teammates uh, from all over the place. Nice coach, nice people, uh, good staff. Um, yeah, mm-hmm. it's a really good club for me. So I'm very happy that I can be here and uh, that I can improve my game at this place. So I hope uh, that. Next year, a lot of good things can happen. And let let me ask you this, uh, uh, boom. For for now, can we say you you don't sign professional yet? No, not yet. Um, but it, uh, my game is really good. Um, uh, is what the people around say. Um, because I'm not that cocky person that says, yeah, I'm a good player. This and this and that. Because that's not uh, the person. Mm-hmm. I don't like the kind of person, but if I p- keep on playing my game like I do now, um, the club has a lot of faith in me, uh, the trainers also, the players. So mm-hmm. if I keep playing like this, uh, and anything can happen, and maybe sooner than expected. Yeah. So 
from now on, from March, a lot of things going on between, uh, for you them. So let me ask you this. Last time you was with uh, the U23, the Asian, National, the Asian Olympic team, that was in March. Yes. How was it for you? It was a big experience, good experience also. Um, it all went very fast uh, because uh, I was talking with the team manager maybe November, December, and uh, two, three months later, I was with the national team in Mexico already. Um, the first day I was there, I I was new, uh, so I caught also myself to some boys. Uh, yeah, I'm a freshman, so um, it was like proving myself. And the first day, to be honest, the first training didn't go very well because uh yeah it was a long flight i was really tired but the second yeah, the second training i fixed a lot talked with uh, a lot of players uh, i had a good uh, roommate and i like it very and i liked it i hope to i hope that we can play soon again because the olympics gotta go uh we have to play them mm -hmm. uh, so i hope to be there very soon man so you are, you are, how many days we spend over there? Because I remember the, the, the tournament was out to be canceled. So all the players have to be disappear again, go back on your team. So uh, uh, how many days you, you, you spent over there? That was three, four days? I think four days, man. Uh, we, did, we, trained three, we had three trainings and four or five days we were there. And then uh, yeah, we had to go back, unfortunately. Um, but... For yeah. a new guy like me, it was, yeah. How was your because connection? It was, it was good also. But, you know, if it was longer, you can play games. You can get more used to the way the, play, the, the team plays. Uh, then it's more like you feel you feel like a team. But because now you were there, you was like, he was new. So you have to prove yourself. You have to show them what you got because you're new. But if you get used to them, have more trainings, more games, more uh, quality time and things like that. You get more used to them. You get more involved in the team. So that was the only issue. But mm. I think we, if, if there's an opportunity we can play again, it will be very well. Man. How was the how was your connection with the 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 staff and the the players you didn't know before? How was your connection with them? Uh, it was good, although my Creole is not that good, but <laughs> I, I keep, I keep, I keep I, trying. I can teach you some Creole, boom. Okay, let, <laughs> tell me one word you know in Creole. Tell me one word you know in Creole. Yeah. I know, you know, I uh, I talk a lot of time with my cousins and my uh, my brothers in Haiti, so I know something, you know. Mm -hmm. I can say, uh, let, let me say it a little bit to you. Um, yeah. mm. Bonsoir, qui j'en ai, tout bagaille en forme. Where yeah. you get in there, um, so you get in yeah. there. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know, I know. Yeah, because at the be at the beginning you didn't know nothing, right? Yeah, that's true. Because yeah. at the beginning, um, I was really shy. I didn't want to try because, uh, yeah, yeah. So because you know, it's it's a little bit. I don't want to be laughed at, you know. But I later you get older, you don't care. So I was like, yeah. hey, it's my native language. I have to I have to speak it because. Otherwise, it's really weird if you're Haitian and you don't even speak Creole. Mm. So you have to be. You, you were there. You were there. They remember your story. So it's it's not it's not you. It's not you. It's not because of you. Mm -hmm. But you get in there. You get in there. L let um, me ask you this. So you keep in you keep in touch with your cousin in Haiti and your family there there no? Yeah, man. Um, as almost every day, I talk a little bit with them. Uh, with my cousins, my brother, my mom. Um, yeah, we we talk to the phone and then, yeah, just you know, family talk. Um, I love how they do it, how's life there because also, uh, the COVID 19 hit Haiti, also. Mm -hmm. Um, so yeah, just wanted to check, uh, check on them, how, how's uh, the situation there, and yeah, everything's good. Uh, thanks to God, so okay, yeah. that's that's very good, that's very good. Uh, uh, Right now, you still are you you live you live in by yourself? Boom, no. Um, right now I'm at my uh, at my 
place where where I used to live before because of we have winter break. Okay. So instead instead of I'm in Seattle where my club is, I'm going back to my uh, to my village in uh, in more. So you, you used to li- you used to live in the on the club for the. Yeah, yeah. Um, close uh, close to the club. We, uh, I have a own studio apartment for myself. Um, that I live in uh, is maybe five minutes from the from the stadium, okay. so it's really close. Okay, okay. Now, now you live in somewhere else for because of because the the, because, the break. Yeah, because the winter break and the holidays are coming. We have uh, we have a lot of uh, free time. So I went back to my uh, to my family in here to uh, yeah to spend some time with them because Christmas is coming and you know you have to you have to be involved and you have to you have to share those moments, embrace those moments. So it's yes. a good time to be with the family. Oh yes, oh yes, especially around this time in the world. Uh, yeah, uh, boom! The last time the big news was come up to me that was your your agent. He, he he let me know about that. I, I was so I was I was jumping. I, I can't wait until to give me the last resolve. But unfortunately, mm-hmm. I don't think the the, the resolve coming like the way it was taken. So you you went with uh, the big team to for the try for to try the, with them. How was it? Um, how it went? It was like. Um... First, I would train with uh, with some players in the stadium for the for the first team trainer, for the first team trainer. Um, then we had a few weeks later that the first team trainer was sacked, and they were looking for a new trainer to 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 take it over. And when we trained, he was like, "Yeah, he's a good player. I like the way he plays. Um, if it's possible, we would like to see him more often." And a few weeks ago, uh, three weeks ago, he he was uh, named the head coach, and then exactly the same day in the evening, around seven o'clock, uh, my own trainer he t- he called me. He was like, "Yo, um, what are you doing um, tomorrow? Eleven uh, o'clock, you have to be there. Then there, you have to train with the first team." And I was like, <laughs> "Wow!" I, I flew. I was like, "Hey, wow! So fast!" I was like, "Hey." This is my chance. This is my opportunity. I have to grab it. I have to take everything, uh, give everything on the training. And yeah, uh, I trained two weeks with them. Uh, the trainer was really happy. At the end of the day, he said, um, yeah, I hope to see you soon again um, because the, they have a lot of defenders already. But he said, uh, you did very well. I hope to see you all soon again. And uh, we keep in touch. Um, I know you are so... Don't worry. I hope to see you soon again. And keep on, uh, keep on doing your best. Keep, keep, keep going. Give everything to your team, so we can, uh, we can see you hopefully soon later in the first team. So what for him? What was not good to sign you with the 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 big team, the first team? Um, nothing, nothing for you. It was like. Um, He thinks he find he thinks I'm really good, uh, and he, I don't know the reason why he didn't pick me already to stay there uh, for the rest of the season. But you never know what can happen after the winter break because um, then the transfer window is also open in here, so mm-hmm. they can buy or sell new players. Okay. Um, so um, his main reason um, is because we have a lot of defenders in the first team, mm-hmm. um, but he already saw that. Uh, in my game, I may be a little bit ahead of some players who are older than me, but he didn't say exactly the reason. But the main reason was because some players that uh, were affected with the COVID 19 virus. So mm. that's the reason why some didn't didn't train two or three weeks, and then they put some youth players, and the trainer was like, "Let me see what they can bring to us." You, you, with the second team, uh, you with the second team, you the second te- with the second team. Do do you guys play the competition right now? No, no, no. We uh, our competition is cancelled um, the, for the whole season. So what we do is uh, nowadays we we train, we train, we train uh, five times a week. Okay. And then uh, on the in the weekend we had one training on a Saturday, and then we're free for the rest of the uh, of the weekend. Mm-hmm. Um, and 
normally we have to we have to display a game on January 10th, but I don't know how it's going to how it's going to be because um, the the minister president set some new rules and nobody knows what to expect from the from the club how we're going to play after after the after January. yeah after the rules. Yeah. yeah man. I mean, uh, do you think there might be more opportunity opportunity for you besides the Fortin Asida? Um, if I keep doing like this, um, maybe. But my main target is to to make it in the first team because I know um, that my chance is really in this club because they give me uh, a lot of faith. They give me a lot of confidence. And I think if I get the chance to be in the first team, mm -hmm. um, that I can show them what I'm worthy, so so that they can see that hey, he's a good player. He needs to be in the starting eleven every week, and I think that's my my main target, and that's what I want to achieve first. Be in the first team. I'm still young, 20. Um, next year, 21. So hey, everything's possible. If I'm at 21 uh, in the first starting eleven, then. My goals, my goal already achieved. That's one thing, that's for sure. Mm. But we don't have to go that fast. Yeah. If I sign my poor contract next year, then I'm really happy also. Yeah. Do, you, do you see yourself also on the Haitian national team, the big team, beside the Olympic? You hear me, Boom? You hear me? Yeah, yeah, no. Yeah, I, I said, I said, Do you see yourself on the Haitian national team, like the big team, beside the uh, the Olympic, the U23? Um, that's also one of my goals. I think if I can sign my contract and be in the first team of Fortuna Sita, that opens a lot of opportunities and windows to to be in the national first team. Um, but I know they have a really good team, um, a lot of good players, also from all over the world, um, from. Belgium to Portugal to hey, you name it, Chile, everywhere. Mm. So those are players with um, everyone has his own quality. Um, so if I can be a part of them, that would be very, I would be very happy if that's possible. But I think it's one thing at a time, if I can be at my club also in the first team starting 11, then yep. we look further. Yep. But that's it's also the... it's a goal for me. Yep. Uh, I want to be. I want to be in the you know, national first team, so I never say never say never. So hey, it's a it's a goal, and I want to and I want to go for it. Huh? Let's see, let's see what's gonna happen. What is next for Jean Fritz Boom? What is next for you, Boom? What's next for me? Mm. Um, sign a contract, man. Sign a poor contract. <laughs> sign yeah, a poor contract. That's what I'm waiting too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah. If that's happening, if that's happening, then we can go all the way, man. Then it's open a lot of windows, and then I can go. I can fully put everything in the football, put everything in the in myself, improve my game, get better at my position, play against the highest place in the club, in the club, and also uh, in this league at the best level. So that's how you get better, man. Uh hmm. Anything, anything, boom, you want to add before I let you go? No? No, man, not really. Just yeah. thanks for having me. Um, hey, I want to, I want to make Haiti one day proud. I want to be in the first, uh, first national team also, so I can make my people happy. See them cheer at the stadium and the seats. So, hey, that's my goal, man. Yeah. Uh, I want. I want to see that too. Your mom will be on the game to watching the game. Say that, that's my <laughs> that's my son. <laughs> For real, man. That's my goal. man. Make the people make my people proud, man. Oh. See them happy. Yeah, man. All right, boom. Thank you, man. Thank you for having for have time to speak with us, man. Thank you. Hey, anything for you, man. Thank oh. you for having me. Oh, right, boy. Thank you. Alors, that's uh, Boom, ladies and gentlemen. Jean-Fritz Boom, ce jeune Hollandais haïtien de 20 ans qui va le gagner à partir de l'année prochaine. Alors, monsieur qui était dernièrement qui dans équipe, deuxième équipe Fortina Cita, Cita là, dans le championnat Hollande là, et qui était à essayer avec Seniola qui était invité à participer avec Seniola. 
Et monsieur dit font pour le font titan dojo pas j'aime connait en janvier peut-être que yo ka que reprendre reprendre boom dans équipe ça mais on pas j'aime connait ça qui arrive tout de toute façon monsieur qui était avec sélection en mars passé avec sélection U23 Olympique Olympique Haïti what is next ça connaît who knows nobody knows <laughs> so let's see c'était boom Jean Fritz depuis Hollande qui n'a pas parlé avec lui total mix radio <musique>